Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, where are we, the 9th, the 9th, I should know, it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, so, she's a Taurus just like me, because God wanted to give me some karma, anyhow, here we are, so, the 9th, you may not say it's karma, but it absolutely is, <laughs> so, I got, a, I got a little uh, ball. Anyhow, let's get to the reading. The ninth. What do we got for the ninth? What do we have for the ninth? That'll cost me some money tomorrow. Anyway, we'll go out and we'll spend a lot of money, so. <laughs> Ninth. What do we have for the ninth? Mm, page of Wands. <clears throat> Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. High Priestess reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. Uh oh! Now this is a financial pr issue. You know, there could be financial problems. Things are turned upside down. Somebody's not listening to their gut. Or they're not following their intuition. They may be hearing it. Same thing. Not listening. Hmm. Somebody's trapped. Mentally trapped in a negative situation. It could be with a child, or it could be with anybody who is uh, bringing them down. This is this is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a child. I don't know. It's somebody that is negative. Somebody that doesn't have a lot of good things to say. It doesn't have to be a child. It could be anybody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a negative person, somebody that's negative, and they're keeping you stuck in some way. Now, this is working together, compromising, needing to compromise. Things are a little chaotic. Things are a little chaotic right now. King of Cups. Six of Cups. Mm, heavy burden. We got somebody that is carrying a heavy weight. Something is weighing them down, but they're holding on to it anyway. <laughs> Trying hard, working really, really, really hard to keep things afloat. Trying to make everything perfect. But they could be somebody could be dealing with a person that just doesn't know how to love efficient efficiently. Oh boy. Somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. Um, this person may have some maybe they're not, maybe they're not feeling loved. You could be dealing with a person that is not feeling loved and they need love. I don't know. Um, King of Cups, this is a person that does have good intentions and his, is mastering their emotions very well. Thinking about the past, thinking about the memories, thinking about love, trying to offer love, trying to nurture a situation, try, trying to do everything possible to make it better. It's like we do have somebody here that's really trying to make it better, carrying all the weight of this situation, whatever it is. Um, let's get some more cards. There's lack of emotion here with this page of cups. Somebody is dealing with a person that is... That lacks emotion, and that sucks. That does suck. 
Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Yikes. Don't you love it when I say yikes? <laughs> At some point. Oh, whatever. I'm not even going to say it. Anyhow, this right here is a very self-sufficient individual who takes care of business, who has taken action to bring success to their lives. This is a very abundant person, very um, at ease, grateful for the small things, grateful for the final, finer things, enjoying the finer things. This is a very abundant person who is quite ready for something. She is ready for something, okay? She's ready. She's ready. She's done her work. She's taken action. She's stable. She's solid. She's secure. She's abundant. She feels good. She's in a positive state of mind. She's not moping. She's in a great spot, okay? So we have this person who is in a great space, okay? Um, it's beautiful. It is. It's beautiful. And we got this person that may be extending I mean, this is the King of Cups. This is this is the King of Love. He may be offering this person some love. He may, you know, he may be off deciding that he's going to offer her some love. But this is being stuck. There could be a sudden decision. This could be a sudden move. You know, a sudden decision that I do want to do this. I do want to work on this. I want to, you know, put in effort. But there's children in the mix here, okay? There is some children that have been affecting a person's decision. There's indecision here. There's indecision as to whether we can all work together, right? Because that is working together as a team. Somebody has been really trapped in their thoughts, you know. Definitely has to do with children. Children are a factor um, as to why somebody has been stuck. Um, but we have this abundant person who is down to earth. Brown is down to earth. This is could be an earth sign, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Um, but anyway, it looks like we have, this guy has got love to offer. He has good intentions. His, his, his cup is full. He knows that she's ready. She is ready. This person is ready. But there's been a... A negative situation or a negative Nancy or a negative Nelly or whatever. There's been a somebody that's been affecting the movement. Anyway, um, two of wands reversed. <laughs> you know, there's fear of change. There is definitely some fear of change here with both of these cards. Insecurities. And somebody probably realizes they're on thin ice. Maybe somebody is deciding to give up on the love because, you know, they've been ghosted. They've been left out in the cold, you know. Somebody is, is having, like, divided loyalty here. There's, like, divided loyalty over which path to choose, over two people, two paths. You know, there's, there's, I, I really want to go this way, but I can't go this way because there's other people affecting the decision. <laughs> That's what I see here. So, Two of Swords. Somebody has been choosing a mundane life instead of, you know, going after love. Staying in the safety safe zone. Right here, both of them. All, all of these. Somebody has been staying in the safety zone when it's like they have love. It's like they see love. They see abundance. They see a, the whole package here. And now they have to make it. This is making that p painful, stressful decision. Somebody's in the process of making that straight, painful, stressful decision to put in effort or not. It's like their gut is telling them to do something and they're not listening. That is the high priest just reversed. Somebody's intuition, his gut is saying, do it, just do it, just do it. And they're just like ignoring, ignoring, ignoring. So um, this is 
coming out of sacrifice. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves needlessly, avoiding. They've been in a state of confusion, but it's like they're seeing the light. They've become enlightened. They're seeing the light in a situation. Oh, yeah, they may be seeing the light. You see the light? That's light. It's lighting up that tower. So somebody is probably getting some sort of rude awakening. This is a rude awakening. This is a change, courtesy of the universe. Okay, this is a universe card. The universe is bringing in some sort of shake-up to help get somebody unstuck. This is a necessary evil. It's like this is the universe. It's like something is, it's like there's going to be a, a huge crack or something that's going to happen, like a big old smack in the head or something, you know, <laughs> that um, changes a person's perspective, okay, because as soon as these people hit the ground, their perspective is going to change, and this is a changed perspective. So somebody's perspective is about to change in a big way. There could be a some sort of upheaval or uproar at home or something like that that pushes somebody over the edge, honestly. There could definitely be a fight. There could definitely be a fight, an argument. Um, somebody could have been, you know, maybe it's time to take your power back. Somebody could have been dealing with a person who stole their power, stole their, you know. Or not, I can't, let me change the word, not stole, took their power caused a person to be dishonest with themselves, made a person unable to see the truth, clouded the thoughts. Oh my God, the lovers reversed. This is a unharmonious contract. There's no compatibility. There's indecision. There's indecision about going down that new path. There is, seriously. There's, there's somebody that is in the process of making a decision about going, this is the new path. But they're undecided because of a past contract. This is the past contract that is no longer favorable. So I feel like there's, there's some sort of, this is unrealistic. There's no victory there. There's no success there. There's no growth there. And it's like somebody has been giving their way, their power away to a contract, a partnership where there's really no compatibility or there's no reciprocation or there's no teamwork. And there's an opportunity to work together with somebody if somebody could step outside of their comfort zone and go down that new path. But anyway, the universe sees all this, okay? Because this is the universe. Like the tower is the universe. It's one of the universe cards. It's like the universe is okay. This is enough. This is a false sense of security. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's not comfortable. You, 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 you're, not, you're refusing to compromise. You're, you're refusing to you know, fix it or do anything about it or the other person. It's just not, it's unfixable. It's not stable. It, it, it needs, it needs to be taken care of. And so we're going to, we're going to light it up for you. So yeah, some, 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 <laughs> something is about to get lit up. 
Queen of Swords reversed. This is, I mean, the Queen of Swords reversed. This is a resentful woman, vindictive, bitter, cold. We have a cold individual here. Or she's going to be, you know, she's going to be, this, this is an upset. This is an upset woman right here. She's not in a very good mood. So, <laughs> I don't know. That ain't good. She hasn't been seeing a situation clearly. We have somebody here that has, it doesn't have to be a woman. We have somebody that has not been seeing a situation clearly. They've been holding on to a false sense of security. It's almost like there's self-deception here. Somebody has been dealing with a really tricky situation where they've been, it's almost like they've been lying to themselves. Holding on to this false sense of security, this false, this is a false contract. I mean, that's what it is. So somebody's been holding on to a false contract and I think the universe is here to say, nope. Somebody has been refusing to take action, to find those resources within them to bring success to their life, to go after their dreams, to follow their heart. And it's because I think there's other people that are holding them back. Could be people they live with or people they work with, you know. There's a feeling of resent and bitterness that is growing with each passing day because and if male or female, there's this. This is bitterness and resent because it's not compatible. It's not love. That's not love. And then when you're not getting loved, the resentment grows. So, it's a, it's a time to celebrate life. It's a time to, to have fun. And I think the universe wants to, wants you to have joy. It wants you to have happiness. It wants you to have fun. You may need to let your friends help you get out of this rut. Somebody has been in a serious rut. Um, and maybe they need to let, let somebody help them. Um, This is dating as well. Maybe it's time to start dating. I don't know who that message is for. This is dating. Nine of Cups Reverse. This also could be, you know, friends becoming lovers. You know, something where you, you got into a friendship with somebody and there's an opportunity to become a lover, lovers, but you can't because there's other people in the mix. I mean, this could go so many ways. Anyway, the Nine of Cups reversed. This is things are starting to look up. Deep fulfillment is coming, something that you can celebrate thanks to the universe. This is the universe uh, bringing in a necessary evil to cleanse something out of your life that is holding you back from... Success. This is success. It's reversed. It's holding you back from love. It's holding you back from your perfect match. So there's something. Somebody's being held back from their perfect match because I think of, I hate to say this, but there's, there's the, it, you know, it could be children. It could be other people. I don't know. Um, it could be an old partner. It could be somebody from the past. It's like their gut is saying this isn't meant to be, it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, this is a false sense of security, you know, you should be celebrating your life. It's like that's what the universe is saying, so, but you don't have the guts, remember I said somebody doesn't, isn't following their gut, <laughs> somebody doesn't have the guts to... step out of the circumstances that they are in. 
Therefore, they're not getting the love that they dream about. But I wanted to stop. Anyhow, um, nine of cups reversed. This is things starting to look up. Like I said, this is this is 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 you will if you are single, you're going to be meeting somebody. You are with this card and this card. If you are single, you're going to be meeting somebody, or you have somebody that is going to step forward. Somebody that has been in the background and they have whatever. So this is somebody is going, if you've been single, you probably have somebody that is going to step forward that has been, they've been in the background by the looks of things. They've been unable to move forward. And I think it's because there's other people. So I think that whoever this is for, there's a bond that is about to deepen. It could have been with a friend, then it becomes lovers. It, I don't know. It could be somebody, a friend of a friend of a friend. They could, they could. Uh, you could go out with your friends and meet this person, okay? Because this is this is going out with your friends. You know, the three of cups. Maybe you go, you go out with your friends at night and you party or whatever. Because there's drinking here for some of you, and you meet somebody out of the blue. Um, I'm not doing that. Just so you know. Anyhow, um, but this is, um, you know, going out with your friends for some of you and meeting somebody spontaneously. And this doesn't ha this could be out in the town. Okay. The three of this is socializing. This could be online. Okay. So you could meet somebody out of the blue and fall in love. This is deepening a bond, meeting somebody. Okay. Um, be careful. <laughs> yeah, be careful. This is be careful because you could get caught in, caught in a situation that you weren't expecting. And this doesn't always mean that it is a bad thing. You know, you could be, you know, seriously falling in love with the Six of Cups. It could bring back all those memories of love. No joke. So for some of you, for some of you, you may, you may be receiving some sort of, or you may be meeting with somebody, meeting up with somebody spontaneously. Out of the blue, suddenly, because that's a suddenly too. Sour, sour, tower is suddenly. There could be a sudden change of events that, and you know, this could be a very spontaneous meeting, a very spontaneous meeting where it's like, You're caught off guard. You are absolutely caught off guard by this. It's like, yeah, you're gonna. This is caught off guard. Somebody may, may have been lying about something, and now the truth is coming out. So this could be even somebody that you know. The Six of Cups is somebody, somebody that you know, somebody from your past, somebody that you really know already. So somebody you know may be stepping forward with an offer of love because they see your beauty, they see your abundance, they see your worth. You know, they've been stuck, they've been trapped by circumstances, that five of pentacles of circumstances, now they've seen the light, they get this slap across the head or something or whatever, and they decide to, uh, they want to work together. So I don't know who this reading is for. But I don't know. Check the time. Make sure that's not gonna go out. We're good. We're gonna get one of these. One of these. If you are single, this is the single person, okay? And in this one, with the reverse, if you are single, you probably won't be single for long. If you are in a coupled relationship, there's a bond that could be deepening after some sort of. upheaval okay this upheaval or this drama or whatever it is it could be deepening the bond either way this is deepening a bond between people it is the nine of believe it or not nine of cups reversed we have a bond that has been deepening between friends i think it started out as friends and then the bond deepens into love that's what i think this is I think somebody has been so indecisive about this because, for one, they've been ignoring their gut and letting other people decide their fate. Passion and pleasure. Passion and pleasure. Sounds good to me.
Savor your life. Find joy in the moment, no matter what is occurring in your life. If you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Love often and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. We talked about this, about being happy. That three just It is time to be happy. It is. When the traveler meets a band of gypsies, we get this card a lot, don't we? The traveler stops to dance into the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with the wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Let me read that part again. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasure wherever you can. You guys all see that? Allow your senses to be fulfilled. It says, you know, it says that S word, uh, satiated. Yeah, that's what it is. Find and explore the beauty around you. I'm getting better at saying that, aren't I? Anyhow, you don't need to suffer to grow. You can't, you can, you can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. <laughs> joy, that's the three of cups. That is joy. Go have fun. Anyway, you can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy wherever you can. Go have fun. That's what this is about. It's time to be happy. Don't let other people hold you back. So somebody could be receiving an offer of love. They could be with that King of Cups. He he's his emotion he's mastered his emotions. He's ready for love. She's ready for love. It is what it is. So good luck. I hope it's for you.